Hi everyone, Jamie here. Welcome back. So as you can see, I am at Lowe's today. I have a couple things that I need to get done here today. Um, first off, I have my light, my outdoor light in my side yard, right above kind of where we store our garbage cans, right outside the side garage door. That is, that whole side yard is going to be uh, what, the main entrance for when you enter into my backyard during my garden tour. And as I was showing that, I was kind of videoing it for you all so you can see the entrance area. Um, I noticed when I was filming how old and like janky the light that I have there right now looks and a couple of you kindly very this in the sweetest way possible also said the same thing so I knew I had to replace that light so I've kind of been on the lookout for a light that would fit in well with the other lights that I have around my house so we moved into our house 2020 we actually haven't replaced any of the outdoor lights except for the one in the backyard and the back patio um I forget why we replaced that one I don't remember what we were what was there before we replaced it. But the one, the two lights that are on either side of my garage door, those were there when we moved in. So I didn't know where the people who owned the house before us, I didn't know where they had purchased them from. So I had been looking and looking and looking for good outdoor lights. I finally looked at Lowe's. That's obviously where they purchased those lights because the exact same lights were available both in the big size and the small size. So I ordered a small one so that I could put that right in my side yard um, and I'm picking that up today. So I'm excited to find that. Jason offered to install it for me so hopefully he can get that done today. I feel like I could install it. I've installed lights before like that. It's really not that hard um, but he offered and I'm going to take him up on that. <laughs> so hopefully he'll get that done today. Then the other thing it is the last week of October it is six weeks until our first frost so I am on the lookout for some markdown plants this blows always has a really big clearance section which not all of the lows around me has that. My Home, Be Home Depot does not even have a clearance section at all. So this is usually the place that I go to to check the clearance rack. However, I feel like it's the place that everybody around here goes to check the clearance rack. So sometimes it's really picked over. Sometimes they've just replenished it and I can find a ton of things. So I do want to check that out today and then just take a quick look around and see if there's anything else that I want to purchase now because now pretty much this week is the last chance that I should be planting any perennials or shrubs or anything like that um, because you want to get them in six weeks before your first frost. So this is kind of like my last chance to look for things. If I have time today, I might actually go to a couple of other plant stores to look for the same thing just because this is it. This is it for, for until we get into spring. Um, you know, I could probably plant some things and cover them with frost cloth, but it's the same risk as if I planted them in the middle of summer, which I do, of course, um, but this is this is the time that you really want to get the plants in the ground. So hopefully I find some good stuff today. All right, let's go. Okay, I just picked up the light. Here you can see it completely, perfectly matches the ones that are on either side of my garage door. So I'm super excited about it. I think it's a smaller version of the ones that are on my side, um, on either side of my garage door. Um, so I think, I just think it's perfect. I'm excited about it. Oh my goodness, look at this. I know I'm not here shopping for this, but I kind of love this. <laughs> that is too funny. Okay, and then of course I have to stop by the bulbs. I feel like I am full, my garden is full already, but I just have to look and see what they have. I would love to plant this. This is a Elodie Lily. Oh my goodness, look at how incredibly beautiful this is. The only problem is I cannot handle the scent of these lilies. I just, oh my God, I can just imagine sneezing. I don't think that I'm, like particularly allergic to it, but like it just irritates me, irritates my nose. And even if I go into a house and it has some of these like in a, in a bouquet, I can smell it and it just, oh, which is such a bummer because they're so beautiful. This Lowe's always has really good selection of houseplants. I've found some amazing houseplant deals here. Let's see if they have anything good. You can see here, 
Here's some of their clearance plants. I don't know how much they are. Oh my goodness, look at this. For like two years, I had been looking for one of these philodendron birkins. I was obsessed with it. I wanted it so bad. I found it earlier this year at the garden center and now I see them literally everywhere. Every single Lowe's, every single Home Depot I go in, I see one of these. I guess that's how the houseplant industry works. When something gets really, really popular, they start propagating it and now it's everywhere. It's really pretty though. Cyclamen. Oh, so pretty. Oh, it's just so expensive. $5 for this little pot. Uh-oh. This is usually where the clearance rack is. What happened to it? Oh, there it is. Okay, let's see what they have. We've got some daylilies. That would be pretty. Lots of succulents. Oh, look at this daylily. Look at this. They have this huge star jasmine. It's just out of bloom. 50% off. So what is that? 15, 16, $17? I don't need it, but I want it. Oh, another one. If anyone needs star jasmine, come here. You guys, look at this. I didn't even notice it. So I had been thinking about getting a grapevine for my yard because I don't know if you all know, but I live very close to wine country. I actually grew up in wine country. And I have been thinking, we, Jason and I have been talking and saying, why don't we have a grapevine in our yard? Our neighbor across the street has a massive grapevine and she gives us like buckets of grapes. It's amazing. So there's this one, Zestful Gold Golden Chalice Grape. I just looked it up. It's supposed to be fast growing, good for warmer zones like mine, zone seven through nine. I'm going to put this kind of growing up my pergola, kind of over by the hammock. Um, I'm going to try growing grapes in a pot. You can grow grapes in a pot. You just want to make sure you have a pot at least 15 gallons. You can see I've been looking this up because I've been wanting a grapevine. And if I can get one, 20 or 50% off for 22 bucks, hey, I will do it. So I'm super happy with my find. Jason's going to be excited as well because he loves grapes. So I guess these are seedless to almost nearly seedless. So they're not saying they're perfectly seedless, but they're pretty darn seedless. And they say they're excellent tasting. So I am excited. Look at this rose. I don't have red in my garden, but that is tempting. Let me, ugh, let me see if I can get a good view. Isn't that tempting? Oh, it's just so beautiful. Love it. All right, so I am all done. I'm super, super happy with my purchase here. I think that this was a good find. These spots do have a little bit of yellow speckling on them, but I've been looking it up on my phone. I think it's just kind of like a sunburn type of thing. And even if it is anything, I will, um, they're gonna lose their leaves pretty soon and they're gonna go dormant. So I can overwinter it and treat it and just kind of see how it does. But I just felt like that was a great find off the clan track and then I got my light that I'm super excited about so I want to go home and I want to try and get Jason to install that as soon as possible and then just a couple other little things that we need just for house you know projects and stuff like that um, a couple screwdrivers so that's it going in the back with the soccer stuff let's go home days later Jason thankfully put up the light thank you babe you're welcome it looks good let me turn around and show you guys so it perfectly matches the ones that we have in our front yard let me show you 
So see, they're exactly the same, which I'm kind of happy that they ended up getting them at a big box store because it was easy to find them, to find the ones that match. So now they all match, and now I'm tempted to change the one in our backyard to be this, this style as well. You know, I didn't pick it or anything like that, but I think it's really pretty. I think it's, you know, um, un, unobtrusive, I guess I should say. I don't want to say uninteresting. It's just, <laughs> it's just a light. So when Jason was doing that, I was planting my grapevine. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so I ended up putting the grapevine over here. Um, it is over by my greenhouse and over by, as you see, all the pool equipment that we have here. So we actually talked to the contractor that did our bathroom and we asked him if he could extend out the fence kind of kind of this way and then also extend it this way and then have a gate right here so that our pool guy has access to all the pool equipment and he said absolutely not a problem so that will be a, that will be blocking our pool equipment which is something that we definitely need to do i don't know if you guys can hear what's going on just over there it is totally the middle of fall i think the high today was 69 and these crazy girls are jumping in the pool <laughs> the girls have some friends over today and they are being crazy so anyway i planted this grapevine here i will be watching it to see if there's any issues and if i need to treat it this cord right here is usually hooked up over on the fence over there but because we're painting it we just left it down here um it's it's normally for our patio lights that are strung up all around the fence so yeah so here's the grapevine i already hooked it up to drip i think it will be really good right there and then my plan is is just to guide it up along um up there i can't lift the camera up because there's cold girls in bathing suits right now <laughs> oh to be young and to be willing to jump into an unheated pool in the middle of fall when it's cold it just doesn't appeal to me anymore i have to say but they're having fun so more power to them so it was a bit of a random video lowe's visit got the light finally um so i'm glad that that got done got something neat off of the clearance rack. I just, I love finding things off the clearance rack. It'll be a fun project to see if I can get this grapevine to grow and produce grapes. And um, we had an impromptu fall swim session. <laughs> so random, random day. So I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today.